Good morning, everyone. Pastor Corey Rowan here with Yorksville First Midville and Newport United Methodist Church. And I have a devotional to share with you today out of the book of Romans. And it's Romans 8, verses 31 to 32. And it says, What shall we say about such wonderful things as this? If God is for us, who can be against us? Since he did not spare even his own son, but gave him up for all of us, won't he also give us everything else? I love this verse. If God is for us, then who can be against us? And that is such a powerful truth that we need to hold on to. If the creator of the universe, the one who made everything, the one who created you and I, if he is for us, then what can stand against us? What can stop us? And the, the truth of the matter is nothing, nothing can stop us if God is for us. And the reason being is because Paul is saying God has given us everything. If he gave up his son, Jesus, who is most precious to him, if he was willing to give him up for us, then won't he give us everything else he needs? Uh, God is all-encompassing. He doesn't just give you a little and then move on to the next. He gives you absolutely everything you need, and all we have to do is trust in him. All we have to do is accept the gifts that he's offered. And, and I love this idea of of of. Paul pointing to Jesus and, and how God gave Jesus up. Because there is no greater act of love than Jesus on the cross. And I mean, what more would God have to do to prove that he loves you? That he will take care of you? That he will get you to the the next day that he will take care of your problems. What more could God do to show us how he provides when he gave up his own son for us? There is nothing more that God could do that would better display his love than Jesus because Jesus was so precious to God. Jesus was was the, was the person that God valued the most. It was his very own son. I mean, who do you love more than your children? And yet he gave him up on the cross for us that we could be saved. And so Paul is saying, if he did that, then there's nothing else he won't do for us. And so if God is for us, then who can be against us? Amen.